A meantime, sensors from the first suspected Chinese spy balloon shot down over the U.S. have been recovered in the Atlantic Ocean. The U.S. military reports search crews found critical electronics, including priority sensor pieces presumably used for intelligence gathering, that is. And here with us now to help us break things down is John Elliott, former White House National Security Spokesman and Deputy Assistant to President Trump. John, always great to have you with us. A lot to get to. Uh, but first, I want to talk about these sensors that were recovered. How significant is this, John? And what do you think we'll learn from it? Well, good to be on with you again, Tracy. The thing to keep in mind here is that we have very few answers right now. We have many more questions than answers. So as we're gathering data and gathering actual uh, products from what has what were shot down in terms of the drones, we don't even know what they are, whether they were drones or unidentified objects, in addition to the Chinese spy balloon from the Communist Party that transited some of our most sensitive military sites. So we're just starting to gather the information now. The senators were given a briefing today. That's the first step in providing answers to the American people. But once again, there are so many more questions than answers. And this right now, the failure of the president to communicate directly to the American people on this is, is another step in a long line of miscues by this president and unwillingness to actually level with the American people, because frankly, he's a very weak communicator, and he's someone who a lot of time hides behind spokespeople. But here, because this is so unprecedented, the American people need to hear from him directly. And as you saw in your package, there are a number of people on both sides of the aisle, senators, that want to hear from him directly. So it's not a partisan issue. He just needs to get out there, talk to the American people, level with them. Even if he doesn't have all the answers, they need to hear from him on that. But I'd say, Tracy, it's embarrassing that the Prime Minister of Canada, Pierre Trudeau, or or uh, Prime Minister Trudeau, actually has addressed his people, and he was days ago speaking to his people on that. And Biden needs to climb out of the basement and do the same. John, as far as those other aerial objects that were shot down recently, um, again, like you said, not a whole lot of answers there. But as we heard from Eric Sender say that they were told such objects were spotted in U.S. airspace since 2017. Now, that was during President Trump's administration, which you were part of. Did you know about these unidentified objects back then? And if it was known that these objects were out there, why did the previous administration and this current one wait until now to do anything about it? Well, the difference is that this administration, the Biden administration, were given a heads up on the Chinese spy balloon when it came over the Aleutians, then it transited the Pacific, and it was then spotted by somebody who's actually just a citizen who saw it over the eastern Montana area, and that was the first time that the American people heard of it. Under the Trump administration, it is widely reported, including by the top levels, the director of national intelligence, Radcliffe at the time, that there was no such warning given. So that raises another question. If there were such vehicles transiting our airspace in any way, certainly it was not brought to the attention of the highest levels of the intelligence community. And that's a problem in and of itself if the DOD was detecting these objects and then not informing the their bosses, if you will. John, we have probably 30 seconds left, if that. But final thoughts on all of this. Well, the final thoughts, Tracy, are once again, the president needs to get out of his basement. He needs to stop hiding behind spokespeople and get out there. The spokespeople don't have any answers. They have zero answers as far as what they've done in their briefings for the last couple of days and late last week. So the president needs to address the American people on such a matter of, of great significance as this. And he also needs to assure the rest of the world and specifically China that we're not going to accept this type of incursion on our airspace. And also he needs to explain why he failed to shoot down the known Chinese spy plane from their communist party. And then now is taking action on every balloon even if it come from, comes from a fairground or something that comes over our airspace. And so there's a real dispar disparity with the response from his administration. Well, John, thanks so much for weighing in. Always great to get your insights. We appreciate it. Thank you very much, Tracy.